Makere University opened the 88th student leadership elections on 17th November 2022, virtually from the different colleges of the campus. The election started with the screening and voting electoral commission representatives, though some colleges, including College of Humanity and Social Sciences, were left out. The College of Humanities and Social Sciences, we did not vote and we did not get uh, any representative at the electoral commission. Uh, According to Nixon, a student of Makere, some candidates were not screened because they failed to meet some of the requirements. Colleges. Most of them did not have representatives simply because the candidates that applied did not have marks on, on their uni university portals, on their students' portals. And yet these marks are in the system, meaning the system itself is not properly fit. He added that student turn-up was also unpresent, where some are said to be unaware of election programs. So this leaves us questioning if really the online voting will work or not. Uh, j just to look at the figures uh, of, of the elections of the IC commissioners, most of the colleges that voted registered a lot turned up. We had, I think, the highest number of, of, of voters were, was around 200 something. Imagine a college that is having all over 1,000 students having only 100, 200 students voting for EC commissioners. This has something huge to say when it comes to virtual elections or online elections. The EC commissioners election itself suggests that people have not yet welcomed the idea of online voting. Actually, I've talked to a number of students and most of them are, aren't even aware that we are having elections on. 21st to 23rd of November will be the nomination of the 88th Guild President, Guild Representative Council, Senior Common Room, College Council, Debating Union and Games Union candidates. Sarah Chirabo, Live at 8.